week, the party leaders' wives have made several appearances alongside their husbands. And journalist Sue Carroll, writing in the Mirror today, says she feels sorry for them. She says, I have nothing but admiration for all three who have been mocked, pilloried, and cross-examined for placing themselves strate strategically, not easy to say, <laughs> at their partner's sides. Since when did standing by your man deserve scorn? So do you agree with her comments? Is it, a, is it important that the leaders' wives are seen at their husband's side? Or do you think that they play no place in modern politics? No, I don't think it's important to see them at all. I'm not interested. I'm, not, I'm just not interested in them. I don't care what they're wearing. I don't care what their hair's like. I don't care. You know, I know it's nice to see that they stand by their man. And, you know, it's good that they support them. But I'm sure they'd do that anyway. The whole, the whole point of... And, and the media make far too much out of them. They're forever scrutinising what they're, what they're wearing and what they're saying, what yeah. they're doing and where they're going. And, you know, and people write too much about it. But I just, you can just see that they, that they are supposed to be, like you can see the spin doctors going, right, well, take her here, take her there, do this, do that. You know, it's so engineered, it's so cynical. I don't, just go away. <laughs> but I, do, do you really think that that's an option for them? That if, if you are the, the partner of one of the three main party leaders and you said, darling, it's not for me. Is, is that an option? Is that not going to raise all kinds of suspicion from Fleet Street? Why? Because it does, because that's what the way the modern it, media I plays on it. Nobody's done it, have they? What I think is awful is that the media, when they've got nothing else to do, pass comment about what they wear and their shoes and this exactly. and that. They haven't asked for that. And, I, and equally, I'm with you a bit. I mean, I, I think it's lovely if they, if they happen to... Well, I'm popping down here. Do you fancy coming with me to the pub or something? Lovely. And I think most po politicians' wives or any man's wife would want to support them in their hour of need or glory or whatever. I don't think it should be a, a you know, absolute necessity that they're stood there smiling benignly. Yeah, and then, you, and then you get pictures, you know, moody pictures of David Cameron and, and Samantha Cameron on the bus having a little snooze and all cuddling up. You just think, just shut up. Stop it. <laughs> they haven't said anything, no, though. They're not saying anything. That's the whole point. The politicians aren't actually saying anything or doing anything. Okay, it's all they're about all what you but see Carol, what does you it do. Not, they're does, all doing it, aren't they? I mean, they're all the same. It, Every they single are shot. All the same. And actually, you know, if they're all, either they can all be there or they could all not be there. And if you weren't there, honestly, and, and, and the press said to me, why aren't you at your husband's? you know, whatever, I would... Why can't she answer and say, well, actually, I'm busy today, I've got a job to do, I've got children to They wouldn't buy it, and you know that. Again, it's making us all think we're idiots, isn't it? It's it is, but I don't... Yeah, yeah. Listen, I don't understand why we are um, suspicious of the fact that they want to be at their size. These men have spent their entire careers working towards this moment. Yeah, so if, if Mr Spain or Mark or Ray was finally, you know, pinnacling uh, uh, their career... Would you not want to be there? And does it not also inform you a little bit about the character of the man who is asking for your vote? Does, no. it, not, no. does it not inform you no. about no. him no, and his the moral landscape? His mouth actually informs me, not what's standing by his well, side. Well, and I think we are, actually I think we speak are cynical. Words. When you look at these people, you understand a little bit about their kind of moral landscape from their family oh. setup, surely. Bill Clinton used to stand next to Hillary all the time. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, Linda. <laughs> I think it would be lovely to think that they are doing this because, yeah, I really want to be with you during this campaign, but I think the problem is we're cynical as in, no, they've actually been told that we've got to go out and look like a really happy family unit and all yeah. of that, you know. Yeah. I want to see the fly-on-the-wall documentary where the camera's in the kitchen when we see them behind closed doors, see if they really get on. And also, I just want to go with him so I, I didn't have to stay on the clean-up. <laughs> So, okay, so let's, let's, 10, am I? let's ask ourselves, if, if we were in their shoes, would we be uh, standing by our men all the way, no matter what well, I, I was think, asked of us? Yeah, I, I do agree with that, because I think if, you're, if your man is offered, you know, a really, really important job, for instance, could be a life-changing job for you as a family, and it's away somewhere, um, obviously you, ha <clears throat> you have to sit down and discuss it, but if it works for you as a family, then I think it's only right that you go and support him in that field, if he's going to be the main breadwinner and, it's, and it could potentially change your life. I mean, it, it kind of happened to me a bit when, I, when, I, um, was when me and Ray first met and, um, and I got offered the job on this morning and we lived in Blackpool at the time and it would have meant the whole family uprooting and moving to London because it was five days a week and there was no way I was going to do it, be away from my family five days a week and only see them at weekends. That was too much pressure that we definitely didn't want to put on family. So, to be fair to Ray, you know, he was real northern, you know, he never wanted to live in the south and all of that. 
he, he came along and he was right. going to look after the kids and all of that. But he absolutely did it because he said to me, what I don't want to do is years down the line, you ever have to say to me, you know, who knows what would have happened if I'd have gone with you, you know. So I do think... Well, that's, a, that's a real sense of partnership at play. Yeah, there. and I would do the yeah, same for I him. I think that's right. But I, and absolutely any of us, I think, anybody now, it, it, it's a big problem for either a man or a, mm. the male or the female, yeah, frankly. Absolutely. I think it does actually come down to money, though, doesn't it? Probably. If someone's, if he's going to earn more than you, then you just get up and go. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You and know, enjoy. Mark's uprooted. He's moved into my flat. So really, you're not supporting him. You just want his money. No, exactly. <laughs> you just want the rent. Yeah. <laughs>